in Chicago. It's truly a colossal That's confusing. ship. That's confusing. And the shortest route for a ship of this size carrying goods from Asia to Europe is through the Suez Canal in Egypt. The Suez Canal was opened in 1869, and ever since, it's become one of the most important trade routes in the entire world. It offers ships transporting parts of the world in Asia, a massive shortcut over the alternative yeah, to the all the way south of the African continent. Today, the Suez Canal continues to offer the quickest route for ships transporting the massive quantities of manufactured goods in China and Asia to a massive market of affluent customers in Europe. Affluent means loaded. Roughly 12% of all of the world's goods flow through the canal every year, and on average, 51 cargo ships carrying over $9 billion worth of oil, gas, grain, and consumer goods pass through it every single year. Adds over 10 days of travel time and 3,800 miles to the average ship traveling between China and Europe, which means more money is and delays in getting parts of their the Suez Canal is therefore an absolutely vital part of the global shipping industry, and the closure of the canal can wreak absolute havoc on this entire planet and the sensitive system. The canal has only been closed twice before this season. I made a video about one of those times. This time, it could be even worse, because global trade is bigger now Let's fucking go. And that's the Zabas of Split, baby. Round two. You missed. Here I go again. Let's fucking go. There it is, baby. There we go. There's the fucking world record right fucking there.
Let's fucking go. I've never seen a 454. Not once in my fucking life. I'm built fucking different. That's fucking right. Holy shit. Let's fucking go, dude. That's the fucking world record. I have the goddamn world record right fucking now. 